Hey guys, I'm here today with Jordan and we created this beautiful light smoky eye for you guys. And now we're gonna take you guys step by step on how we created this look. I'm gonna start with brows. I feel that brows frame and shape the face. So it's the first thing I do when I do my makeup application. Brows are my favorite. So I comb them up in an upright position and I start at the arch of the brow, just creating a shadow like a background for the hairs so that it looks like the brow is slightly fuller than normal. Another big thing with eyebrows is determining where you want them to stop and where you want them to begin. As I get to the front of the brow, I tend to feather out the product to elongate the eyebrow. I feel like she has a pretty big gap between both her eyebrows. I kind of want to bring more symmetry to her face, so I'm going to bring them in slightly closer. So some people get confused with eyebrows. The overall objective is to fill in the sparse areas, not to fill in the entire brow. So I'll comb through the brows, and wherever I see a little gap, I'll just fill. But I won't fill in the entire eyebrow. That's when you get a more like drawn-in effect. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up her eyebrow using a concealer. I take a flat concealer brush, start at the arch or the bridge of the brow, and I begin to shape the eyebrow. And this product, I won't bring all the way in. I'll stop half a centimeter or a centimeter right before the front of the brow, and I'll just drag it down through her brow bone. I'm gonna take that on the same flat concealer brush and clean the top of her brow. So now I'm gonna pick up the darkest shade in the palette, and I'm gonna apply this on her lid to balance out her eyeshadow. So I don't like using primers. I'm very old school when it comes to this part. I just use concealer. It does the same job and it just helps everything blend together because when I put the foundation on her skin, everything will just seamlessly blend and be one color. So now I'm gonna set her eyebrow. The brow will absorb the product throughout the makeup application. And I'll just take the rest of the product and bring it down through the lid to set the concealer that I've applied through her lid. So next I'm going to move on to eyes. Using the semi-sweet chocolate bar from Too Faced, I'm going to be using the color Truffled along her lash line with a flat shader. I'm going to make sure that I evenly dispense the product throughout the lash line and start building it up to create more intensity. I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush and just buff out the color. So what I love about Jordan's eyes are she has a lot of lid space. So you're able to work with quite a bit of shadow. But I kind of like to do the reverse and focus the eyeshadow just at the lash line to intensify the look of her eyelashes. Now she kind of has a backdrop for her lashes and it creates like a more intense eyelash. So with the same product, go back in, same brush, same color, and make sure you intensify the lash line furthermore. I'm gonna go in with a much lighter color from the same palette and this is just gonna mimic like a natural shading in the eye, like a natural contour. If you lightly lift right over the brow, you'll start to see the hollow of her eye where this is considered the crease. This is gonna guide you where this color should be placed. The objective of applying the color on the crease is to connect right here at the very outer corner with your transition color, blend together the lash line with your crease. Eyeshadow, I think, is my weakest okay. skill with makeup. All it is is good blending. It, you can apply 50 colors on your eyelid, and if they're like perfectly blended, it's gonna look beautiful. So if you're using a red, make sure you blend it out with a brown. If you're using a purple, make sure you blend it out with something more like taupey. But warm colors always blend out great. Um, like just about any eyeshadow. So like any warm brown will do. So what I did here with this eyeshadow in the crease is I created a more defined version of what's already there. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in with the brush and intensifying the crease. I'm gonna go back in with Truffle and mix it in with the color mousse that I used in her crease. Just gonna bring it from the lash line and connect it right at the very outer corner of her crease. This is just gonna intensify again the crease color I've applied and bring more definition to the crease. This is what people call a cut crease. Hmm, a cut crease. Just 
gonna go back in and buff everything just to make sure everything's really seamless. And this could be as intense as you'd like it to be. I kind of want it to almost be not noticeable. So I'm gonna use this Tom Ford Cognic Sable. Use the second to darkest eyeshadow towards her lid. So right in the gap where I didn't apply eyeshadow, I'm just gonna place this color right on the lid. When she looks down, there'll be something to stare at, like a little pop of shine. Ooh. So next we're gonna move on to foundation and I'm using Calvin Klein. So as you can tell, Jordan's neck and chest is a little bit darker than her face right now. We're gonna warm up her skin, matching the color in her neck and her face. I won't bring this color towards her under eye area. I like to clean, leave that area fairly clean throughout my foundation application because I'm gonna go in with concealer and I don't wanna load that area with too much product. So I'm just gonna go with the same foundation, flat concealer brush, and clean up the top of the brow. I'm just gonna take a clean beauty blender and I'm gonna press the foundation into her skin. I'm gonna use the Cinema Secrets Foundation Palette in kit number five to conceal her under eye and bring out her highlighted areas. Using the last three colors in the palette, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal her under eye. You wanna kinda create like this triangular shape right underneath your eye, not going too far back, stopping right at the end of the brow and bringing the highlight down. Your highlight should be approximately one to two shades lighter than your skin tone. Anything lighter than that will look a little bit too drastic. I'm bringing the highlight right above her lip, right towards the center of her chin, bridge of the nose, and right at the center of the forehead. All this is doing is bringing back depth to the skin. We lost a lot of the contrast that she had naturally in her skin, and we're just bringing it back with highlighting and contouring. Highlighting and contouring is supposed to enhance your natural features, not create on your cheekbone. Okay, some people go too wild with the contour. That's why I was saying one to two shades lighter is more than suffice. So you're gonna look back five years later at those photos of you with that <laughs> contour and be like, <laughs> wow, that was a weird trend. And why did I put lines on my face? So I'm gonna take the same brush I used to apply her foundation, same foundation color, and bring it towards the side of the bridge of the nose to start the contouring of her nose. Using a pink toned powder to set the under eye. So using a fluffy brush, you wanna make sure to pat in the product and then you can dust it off. You see, a lot of people use a sponge. Would you say don't use a sponge? The only reason I don't say sponge is because you'll dispense a lot more, like the skin will absorb a lot more of the product. And with a brush, you're kind of like feathering on the powder. So whatever sits on the skin first is what the skin will absorb. And then you can just dust off the rest. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set the center of her skin. So for now, this might look a little crazy because I'm just placing the powder on to quote unquote bake. And the term baking is simply setting the powder on the skin for a bit and letting the skin absorb the powder. So using a fluffy brush and these powders that their name has erased, it's Iman. I'm gonna be mixing both colors to bring back some color into her skin. So the great thing about Iman Cosmetics is that for darker skin or for African Americans, it's a great, it's a great brand because it has a lot of warmth to the skin. And normally darker skin tends to be a little warmer. In dark skin, if you use the wrong shade, undertones, it tends to look ashy. I like to make sure that everything is evenly blended, so I bring things down the neck. You never know if you're gonna be photographed. Your foundation will never exactly match your body, so you just wanna make sure you're like blending everything seamlessly. I'm gonna use the same Iman Press Powder, but in the color Earth Medium. Lightly go through the perimeter of her forehead, I like to blend the product at the back of my hand so that I'm not dispensing too much product at once. Emphasis on the lighter, lightly blend. Especially your forehead shouldn't be too contoured. Yeah. Unless you're really trying to give the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the very tip of the brush to blend down the product of her forehead. That way there's no visible lines of where the highlight and the contour meet. I'm gonna bring this down through her cheeks. Smile. I like my clients to smile when I'm contouring their cheeks. And the only reason is you're never really sucking in your cheeks 
when you're like talking to somebody or having a conversation, you know, like you just, most of the time you're either smiling or you're just resting bitch face. <laughs> so this will give you a more realistic contour. And sometimes I just have to fake laugh to in order to be able to smile. It's just me with a gap. Everyone that personally knows me tells me not to fix it. But everyone on Instagram always has something to say. If they feel insecure, they try to make you feel worse about yourself. But like personally, I would fix it maybe like when I need to get new teeth older later on in life. But right now I'm just chilling. So I'm just taking no, uh, the same brush with no product on it and just blending down that warmer color towards her jawline, just so that we don't have any lines. So I just like to buff around the skin with the same fluffy brush I used to set the perimeter of her skin, just to make sure that the contour and the highlight, everything is evenly blended. I'm gonna be adding a blush, focusing on the apples of the cheek and working your way back towards the cheekbone. I'm gonna take the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use truffle and mousse right on her lower lash line. I'm gonna use a small blending brush right at the lower lash line to make sure that this product is evenly blended. I feel like sometimes your New York accent comes out. Really? A small. Small? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go back in with my blush brush and blend everything. A little bit of brow gel. Using Lancome to apply her mascara, I will now coat her lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply our favorite Kylie Lip Kit in Candy K. So starting towards the outer corner of the lip, working your way in towards the cupid's bow. You're gonna fill in the lip. Jordan, your lips are amazing. Thank you. Just gonna go in with the liquid lipstick. Same color, Candy K. I'm gonna spray her with Yay. my favorite setting spray. All right guys, thanks for watching. This is our light smoky eye glam.